The heat is on as we yep. head throughout the next few days. Highs are going to be soaring to the 90s, but the heating of the day today is leading to storms later on, although we're dry right now. Looking at the forecast models, you'll see around 2 p.m. Oh, there could be some heavy downpours around parts of Aventura, downtown Miami, where you see those deeper shades of red. That's more intense rain. Homestead, as well as near Weston and just north of Fort Lauderdale. So Pompano Beach could be dealing with downpours 3 p.m. in Fort Lauderdale, as well as Western Miami. Miami Dade County seeing some of the heaviest downpours. Still, though, widespread wet weather stretching across much of Broward and Dade. It's a shield of rain that lingers around 4 p.m., and that's stretching from southern Broward all the way through Miami Dade County. But notice how it's Kendall all the way through Palmetto Bay, Cutler Bay, south through Homestead, US 1. The turnpike could be a mess around 4 p.m. when we're starting to get rush hour going. 5, 6 p.m. also looking pretty nasty until we get to 7 p.m., and then we'll see those more widely scattered showers around parts of downtown Miami, Tamiami, Miami Beach, Key Biscayne, and late tonight looking quiet. The winds are calmer light now, but could be gusty at times with some of the storms that develop. Temperature is climbing to the upper 80s today, warm and muggy. You know, as of today, we had a notice from a study from the nonprofit First Street Foundation, which did a nationwide wildfire risk for property owners, and stating that Florida's wildfire risk may double within the next 30 years, and this is due to climate change. More more hotter days in the year and all the property development. So the biggest risk would be near the eastern border of the Everglades and we're actually in the peak of fire season right now and our current risk for Florida is moderate. Now at least rainy season began yesterday and goes through October 15th and hopefully we'll get some beneficial rain and the reason it's called the rainy season is because we tend to see the bulk of our rain due to moisture levels surging supporting the daily thunderstorms that fire up about 70% of our yearly rainfall takes place during the wet season. On average, the rainfall ranging from 35 to 45 inches. And in terms of the outlook, the National Weather Service with a low confidence saying that near normal rainfall is expected. Of course, all highly dependent on any local tropical activity. Hurricane season beginning June 1st. Tomorrow's spotty storms, the rain chance lower, but we're hotter Wednesday and Thursday. Highs around 90 degrees, a few storms in the afternoon. And then we bump up the rain chance as we head into the weekend and highs will be in the mid to upper 80s.